Oh, hey, hey guys, Alan Thick here with another crazy card trick. Well, actually, this is less of a trick, more of a tutorial on a particular slight that I think a number of you guys want to uh, get my little bit of a piggy, piggy touches on it. No, a little bit of a piggy touch. Uh, so if you guys like tricks um, and magic, you should subscribe. Uh, I have a lot of that. So here it is. Uh, we're actually going to use a uh, small packet of cards here uh, to, to demonstrate this uh, wonderful slight, uh, this wonderful slight, which I'm not going to name because that will ruin uh, the, the idea maybe, but it doesn't matter because you already saw the title. So we have, a, we have just a small packet of jokers here. Now I don't want you to think that these are like a special rubby jokers. If you were here, I'd have you uh, touch uh, these jokers and make sure that they aren't necessarily like those um, magic store jokers that you typically see uh, used by magicians on television. These are actually um, regular jokers that I collected uh, from my many years as being a, um, a gay magician. Uh, but believe it or not, uh, see if we give a little bit of a magic spell just like this. So, uh, uh, wiener, wiener, you're f going to jail. Um, and we actually could get uh, the kings or a king. Uh, but if we turn the packet over, we see that we actually have all four kings. Uh, that's that's right. All four uh, kings, just just like that. Um, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the that's the thing, guys. Ha. Oh, you want to know how it's done? Well, that's the uh, diminishing lift. This is a, uh, I think it's a Marlowe move from my understanding. I'm not just saying that because uh, you take whatever guess and you could be correct um, if you just say it's a Marlowe move, but it's actually a Marlowe move. I think published in the uh, early 50s, early 50s, maybe 60s. I might be off on the date, uh, but it's a, it's a hot move uh, that certainly has many different variations from many magical heads in the uh, business. Uh, but for this, I'm going to show you a very basic uh, application of this uh, this this sort of uh, trick here. So what you need is you need uh, three kings and a joker. Um, now the joker is going to go third from the top of this little stack uh, because you're going to do a succession of triple lifts followed by double lifts, followed by a single lift, followed by a switch, followed by a frustration count sequence. That's kind of what um, what's going on here. Uh, so for this, what's going to happen is that you are going to procure a break right below uh, that joker. So the way I like to do that is I go, so I have, I have a couple cards here. Now I'm not going to mention, oh, I have four cards here. Uh, they could see four, you know, they're not, they're not retarded mostly. So you spread and you show, oh, I have some cards here. And as you square up, see, I'm getting my little pinky ready to be inserted there as I square these packets up just like this. So now guess what? I have a little bit of a break there. If you want, you could do the, uh, the hop buckle. Or you could do a little bit of a pinky pull down. Whatever works for you. Uh, it's a free, free, you're a free elf, little bitch. So here, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a little break underneath that, uh, underneath that joker. And you're going to do a triple lift, uh, which is very easy when you have a small packet of cards. So you're going to use your dirty right fingers to reach into that little gap. You're going to put your thumb on top and you're going to lift off and flip those cards over much like a book, uh, much like a little bit of a book. I feel like there's a little bit of overexposure here. So let's make sure that uh, everything is Casey, Casey Neistat style, right? Uh, all right, so here, uh, now you're in a little bit of a situation where you need to do the triple lift again to turn that card over after you've shown uh, the Joker. So we could do this in a number of ways. If you want, what you could do is you could buckle that upper right corner so your pinky could go back in there as you reverse the actions you just did. Oh boy, as uh, simple as that. Or if you want, what you could have done is that when you initially turned over that joker, you do what's called an Altman trap. That's right, an Altman trap. What that looks like from your mother's favorite angle is that you are coming in, you're gonna do a triple lift if this could ever fucking focus. You're gonna use the uh, the little bit of the this isn't the crotch, I would say this is the this little part of your thumb. Uh, I didn't I didn't read expert uh, at the card table enough to know the uh, names of the individual parts of the hand. I know these are the phalanges; those are my favorite parts of the hand. Uh, but there's a little meaty part 
you know, the part where all the bacon goes, you're going to have the card catch on that little bit of fat. And what's going to happen is that by putting pressure with your thumb, if you push down, guess what? That's going to transfer the break over to your pinky. So now you could do the triple lift again. That's the Altman trap right there. Obviously, uh, you don't want to make it that big, but um, if uh, done with a deck of cards, you could do continuous double lifts or triple lifts and show the spectator that, look, it's just one card and eventually they're going to be, you know, um, bored. So uh, you do the whatever triple lift you want, you know, whether that's the Altman trap or that's the uh, buckle technique, and you're going to show the joker. You're going to turn it over and take the card in your right hand. So now obviously there's going to be a king. Oh boy, you guys are way ahead of me. Now what's going to happen is you're going to do the same actions. You're going to reach in using the fingers. You're going to hold the king in your fingers here, and you're going to use the other fingers to turn over this card and show another joker. And if you want, you could have them touch it and feel it. And at the same time, uh, when they go to reach for it, you could pull the thing out. So then you actually get some human contact for the first time in your sad fucking life. So uh, you show the joker. And uh, you're just going to repeat the actions again. So you're going to use your fingers to turn that joker up again in the deck and peel that off to your right hand. And now it's easy because it's a single lift. So you notice you've done a succession of a triple lift followed by a double lift followed by now a single lift. This is going to be the easiest one because you're just literally pushing that one off and turning it over. Oh boy. Not trying to get to that 10 minute mark, you fucking cunts. Just trying to be detailed. And now here you have a couple of different options as to how you could show the fourth card. So the way I like to do it uh, is that I turn this third joker down and I'm going to use my dirty little fingertips to grab the bottom card right here. Now what's going to happen is that as these fingers turn over this card in the, in the left hand, my fingers underneath are taking this bottom card and using that to propel this card over just like this. So done in a continuous action, it should just look like you're turning over the bottom card in your hand. So uh, at speed, you know, you're showing the joker, you're saying, oh, you know, uh, a lot of people think that I use the, these uh, trick cards, you could rub it and see that these aren't, uh, you know, special jokers. These are actually jokers that I've just collected uh, from different decks because I'm a, uh, I've never seen a vagina. So uh, you could see that one. As a matter of fact, you can even see the bottom one. That's the one that's closest to my hand. Uh, so it has all the nice little moisture in it. So that's the way the move should look like in, uh, in action there. But one more time in uh, Brazilian slow motion. Hey, there you go. So now you have the last joke in your left hand. What you could do at this point is a frustration count, the brother John Hammond frustration count to show all the cards to apparently be the jokers. So that is just done by simply showing the bottom card, turning the hand over, thumbing that off into your hand and repeating this action. If you want to get a little bit fancy, you could do the Orion count. Read McClintock. This is a very nice flourishy count. Xavier Spade teaches this on this channel. You should go give him some love. Um, he, he has a nice beard. Pretty much whatever it takes to show just one last time all the cards being jokers. Uh, so now here at this point, I just like to do whatever color change I want. You could do a little bit of a, one of these shape shifters if you want. You could do one of these shape changes if you want. You could do this uh, simple, simple switch style action that's just uh, literally getting a break, holding the cards by its sides, letting it go with the thumb and the card flips over, and now doing an Elmsley count. So I turn over this packet and I do an Elmsley count which is a very nice John Bannon sequence. You see all the crediting? Man, if only the people that would copy your style of content would actually copy the crediting aspect of it as opposed to just regurgitating the trick. So you do this uh, wonderful sequence by John Bannon where after the uh, color change happens, you turn over the whole packet and now by doing an Elmsley count, you see that face down card which adds to the illusion. So when you turn over that card, it's another king giving the illusion that the jokers have turned into all the kings. Uh, so that is the diminishing count. Uh, let me go back to, there you go. Uh, so this is the diminishing count. Uh, it's not a trick, it's, uh, it's a move. It's done to show a certain card in a small packet over and over again. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much not done as a, a trick. This is just a little bit of a demonstration trick to show you the move in action. So that's, uh, that's it, I hope you guys, um, Learn that well. I hope you guys do that in your routines. I hope that aided you, uh, AIDS. I hope that gave you AIDS. I'm gonna go figure different ways to 
get a Coca-Cola toy car and um, make it one with my body. I'm going to do that. Uh... See you again when I 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 see you again